Sometimes, trying to make what you think is the best decision for your child might just be a grave mistake for that child. And that is exactly what today's story is all about. But before we go right into the story, kindly like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads whenever we share new stories. Now that I know you've done that, let's go right into the story. Mr. James Koshima is a native of Benue State who is based in Portacourt in River State, Nigeria. He is a businessman and an upcoming musician who has five kids. His wife is based in Benue State with four of their kids, while Mr. Koshima stayed in Portacourt with his second daughter, nine years old precious Koshima. Despite being a busy man with a lot to balance between his career, his music, and the lives of his children, Mr. Koshima always created time to make Precious happy in his own little way. But as time went on, Precious' education started to suffer because Mr. Koshima was starting to have a tough time with his business as things were not going as well as he had expected. During this time, Mr. Koshima was facing a tough time with his business and could not get Precious to continue school. One of his neighbors, identified as Mrs. Nelly, had noticed the issue with Mr. Koshima. So she decided to do something about it. In March 2022, Mrs. Nelly visited Mr. Koshima in his house and told him that it was not really comfortable that Precious was out of school. She told Mr. Koshima that she had a suggestion if only Mr. Koshima would agree to it. Mr. Koshima asked Mrs. Nelly to tell him what was on her mind. If it was something that would be helpful, he would agree to it. Mrs. Nelly told Mr. Koshima that she has a friend in the neighboring Enugu state who just gave birth to a baby and that she would need a helping hand. Mrs. Nelly said that this friend is financially capable to send Precious to school and that sending Precious to live with this friend would be her own way of helping Mr. Koshima in his hard time. She also assured Mr. Koshima that her friend would treat Precious like her daughter since the little girl will be helping her in the house, especially at this time when she just gave birth to a baby. Mr. Koshima did not really like the suggestion. Precious was the only person closest to his heart in Portacourt, and sending his child over 200 kilometers away to live with a total stranger was the last thing he wanted. Looking dejected, Mr. Koshima, with a very, very sad tone, responded to Mrs. Nelly and said, Please, give me some time to think about this. After their conversation, Mrs. Nelly left. Mr. Koshima started thinking about what Mrs. Nelly had suggested. He wanted the best for his children, and clearly, as things currently seemed with him, he could not give them the best they deserve. After thinking about the suggestion for days, Mr. Koshima agreed to Mrs. Nelly's suggestion, and by the end of March 2022, Precious was taken to Enugun State to live with Mrs. Nelly's friend, one Mrs. Ujunwa Ungoke. Mr. Koshima would call Mrs. Uju and her family from time to time, to check up on his daughter and this went on for several months until november 2022 on the 10th of november 2022 mr koshima was going about his business when his phone started ringing he checked and saw that the number calling in was a strange number he immediately picked up the call and this was exactly when mr koshima received the greatest shock of his life the caller who introduced himself as a kidnapper informed mr koshima that his daughter mrs ujunwa and her baby have been kidnapped by his gang and that if Mr. Koshima ever wants to see his daughter alive again, he should send 20 million naira to them. The caller also warned Mr. Koshima not to attempt reporting the case to the police if he wants to see his daughter alive again. Before Mr. Koshima could even respond to this caller, the call ended. He tried calling the number back, but the number was already switched off. Mr. Koshima immediately became disoriented. That minute, he felt his life was crashing down on him because there was no way he could come up with 20 million naira to free his daughter from these kidnappers. He immediately dialed Mrs. Ujunwan's number to confirm if they had been truly kidnapped, but her number was not going through, and this really made him worried. Mr. Koshima immediately reached out to Mrs. Ujunwan's husband, who was outside the country at the time, and informed him about the issue. But Mrs. Ujunwan's husband told Mr. Koshima he was not aware that his wife or anyone was kidnapped. Mrs. Ujunwan's husband promised to do some findings and get back to Mr. Koshima. But when he tried his wife's number two, it was unreachable. And at this point, it was starting to down on Mr. Koshima that truly, Mrs. Uju, a baby, and Precious have been kidnapped. About two days after Mr. Koshima received the call from this kidnapper and was still planning what his next move would be, he received another call, but this time it was Mrs. Ujunwa calling. After picking up the call, Mrs. Ujunwa told him that she has been released alongside her baby by the kidnapper 
but this kidnappers refused to release Precious because she could not pay for her ransom. She however promised Mr. Koshima to look for money and pay for Precious's ransom. This made no sense to Mr. Koshima. He wondered why the kidnappers would not release a little girl whose father literally has no money to pay them. Also, he wondered why Mrs. Ujunwa paid for her own ransom but decided to leave his daughter with the kidnappers. Mr. Koshima started suspecting foul play in the situation. So he traveled down to Enugu State and reported the incident at the Enugu State Police Command. In December 2022, the police invited Mrs. Ujunwa and subjected her to an intense interrogation that would later lead to a very shocking revelation. This revelation would show that neither Mrs. Ujunwa, a baby nor precious, was kidnapped on that day. It was all arranged to cover up for a shocking crime committed by Mrs. Ujunwa. Now, weeks after Precious started living with Mrs. Ujunwa in Enugu State, she was subjected to a lot of domestic abuses. Mrs. Ujunwa would beat her for every mistake she committed, and this continued for several months until November 2022. Some days before 10th of November 2022, the day Mr. Koshima received the sad news that his daughter had been kidnapped, Mrs. Udunwa had beaten Precious as usual, but this time, she beat the little girl so much that Precious became unconscious. After trying all she could to revive the little girl at home, Mrs. Ujunwa rushed out to the hospital where Precious was confirmed dead. After she was told Precious was dead, Mrs. Ujunwa came up with a plan to cover up for her crime. She collected Precious's corpse from the hospital and drove to a community at the border between Enugu and River State, where she dumped the little girl in a bush. She then arranged with an unknown man to call Mr. Koshima that they had been kidnapped and that he would pay 20 million naira for the release of his daughter. Mrs. Ujunwa knew very well that Mr. Koshima would not be able to come up with such amount of money and that made her plan look so perfect. After making all this confession to the police, she took them to where she dumped the body, but when they got there, they were shocked by what they saw. Now, some days after Mrs. Ujunwa dumped Precious's body in the bush, the residents in that community had discovered the little girl's body inside the bush. They immediately informed their traditional ruler about what they had found, and the man, instead of reporting to the police, ordered that Precious's body to be burnt to ashes. So when the police came to the place where Precious's body was dumped, Instead of seeing the body of the little girl, they met a body that had been burnt beyond recognition. Following this series of sad events, in January 2023, Mrs. Ujunwa was arrested and has been remanded in prison by the court of law why the police continue their investigation in the case. Sadly, Mr. Koshima believes that the case is being toyed with. The helpless father is, however, seeking justice for his little daughter. That brings us to the end of this story. I am sure you have liked this video. Subscribe to the channel and also turn on your post notification. Now that I know you've done that, I hope to see you here in our next story.